Good morning and welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm Dave Azer. Today, the new season of America's Next Top Model starts this Friday right here on SFL TV. There's a local contestant from South Florida and we've got her on the show. Plus, you'll hear why Broward College is one of the nation's best. And ladies, we've got some footwear that's all the rage. That and more as Inside South Florida starts now. This season on America's Next Top Model, they're trying something different. Guys and girls in the same house together. And we've got one of the contestants, South Florida's very own Renee Bagwandine, here to dish the dirt. Renee, it is awesome to see you. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's, it's our pleasure. <laughs> There's a line of people outside the door just clamoring to meet you. I'm so excited. But I, I get you first for the next eight minutes. Okay. You belong to this show, to Inside cool. South Florida. All right, so the new season of Top Model debuts Friday. Yes. Right? Exa yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Can't on, wait. On this channel. Um, now, you've already shot. The season's been yeah. shot. Mm -hmm. So for all I know, you're the next top model. So that's why you have to watch. Apparently. So <laughs> so we have to sort of tread carefully. Like, you can't give too much. No, because it has to be interesting, right? Right. So let me just ask you this. Did you win? I don't know. <laughs> thought, Did I? I thought I might get you there. <laughs> uh, how was it? How was the experience? Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm a planner, and this is nothing I've ever expected to happen in my entire life. Yeah. Like, don't ever plan, because I think that limits you. That's what I learned on the show. This was the best experience ever. And now I can't wait to see what other best experiences I have because this just showed me that life can be amazing. Right, because because I was actually there when we held the auditions for this season yeah. of the show because it's guys versus girls this mm -hmm. year. So we had a whole big event, a bunch of guys, a bunch of girls. Now you weren't even there. I wasn't. <laughs> you sort of like snuck your way into the show. <laughs> How did you end up on the show? Okay, so nothing normal ever happens to me. So I was in New York. I moved to New York to be a full-time model in 2011. And a friend of mine, who was actually my first agent from Miami, moved to New York as well. Uh, I was sick, I had the flu. Like, I was sick as a dog. And he, he sent in my audition uh, information without telling me, because I would have never in a million years expected me, you know, a little girl from South Florida, island girl from Trinidad, to ever be on TV next to legend Tyra Banks. Like, are you kidding me? Right. Um, he sent in all that information and I was flying back home because I was really, really sick. Like, I, was, I had to go to the emergency room and he was just like, no, you're not going. I have an appointment for you, go there right now. And then on your way, stop at Office Depot and I have to send you some information to take with you. So I did it after and like- And you still don't know what's going on at this point? I don't, because I probably wouldn't have went because right. out of trillions and trillions of gorgeous girls, like, why would they pick me? You know? Oh, come and, on. Like, have you looked in a mirror? Oh have, my you, gosh. have you? Are you aware of this, by the way? You're so sweet. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I went to Office Depot, and it was an audition with all my information filled out. He was my agent, so he knows all that already. Right. And it was just like, you know, the questions about myself that I had to fill out, filled it out. And I went, like, you know, with, of course, I cursed him out like a hundred times on right. the way there. And I went in there, and Tyra Banks herself came to the interview, almost died and peed myself, but you know, it was freaking awesome. Sure, sure, <laughs> yeah. That might, might have been the first time anyone's you know, done that in front of her, or actually maybe not. It's Tyra, you never know. Right, sure, <laughs> yeah, that would be fierce. So it went well, I guess, obviously. Well, I didn't think it would because I didn't hear back from them until after Christmas, and yeah, it did. Yeah, <laughs> so you walk in, you're, you're deathly ill, you're so sick, you can't believe your, your, your friend did this to you. Yeah. And not only are you auditioning for the show, but Tyra Banks is there. And it's the first time ever that's ever happened in life ever. Right. So I was just like, this is pretty freaking awesome. Like, yeah. And then me and one of the guys like in the audition process, we're like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get excited. Like everybody on the show, like they're almost like, oh my gosh, it's Tyra. Play, play cool, right? Yeah. Play cool. She yeah. walked in because we didn't know, and we're just like, oh my god, it's Tyra. Like idiots, you know. But right. it's Tyra, so you're allowed to do that. Sure. Uh, obviously, <laughs> when I saw her, I flipped the table over. Oh my yeah. gosh. So you get the call, and they say, come be on the show. Yeah. And you freak out. I died. Yeah. Like I literally, like I died. I called my mom. My mom was just like, yeah, we're going to be famous. She's like, I got to lose weight. We're going to be famous. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. my mom. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I got to lose weight because Tyra's going to, you know, I'm going to be watching Tyra on TV. I got to lose weight and look, you know, in the TV at her. Because you know. Tyra knows. Yeah. She can course. see through the lens into, the, into your home. She can. Yeah, right. Put down that, <laughs> put down that bread. Too many carbs. Um, all right. So 
So guys versus girls, right? Yes. First time they've ever done this. Yes. Um, you share a house with guys at? How does that work? Everyone's in the house together? Yep. Like Brady Bunch? Yep, exactly like the Brady yeah, Bunch. Yeah, probably not exactly like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I don't think they hooked up in the Brady Bunch. You don't know if they hooked up in our house either. Uh, was there any sort of anything going on? Guess you're going to have to look and see. Give us a little bit of a teaser. Was there any romance? You're going to have a good time watching. You are really not allowed to say anything, are you? I don't remember anything. You're you know, such us a liar. models. Yeah, right. I feel like Tyra's like right outside the door. <laughs> like, what did she say? What did she say? Um, what was her was her bickering? Does everyone get along? Um, no way, everyone gets along. When there's people, there's always fighting. There's always love. There's always every emotion ever. And you know, I'm pretty dramatic. You, you, know, you? Can, you yeah. can understand. Well, yeah. you've said I died like eight times in this interview, so I think you probably may, might be prone to a bit of exaggeration. Yeah, maybe know, just a bit. A little fabulous sometimes. Well, obviously. <laughs> and there's another girl on the show from South Florida yes. too, right? Her yeah. name is Alex. Yeah, are you friends? Everybody are friends. Everybody stays friends. Everybody's friends? Yeah. Yeah? It was weird, but we were friends. Yeah. Uh, who did you get along with better, the girls or the guys? Surprisingly, I'm a girl's girl, but I got along with the guys. You did? Yeah. 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 Um, did they get along with each other too, the guys? Or, cause yes, you know, they you, did. Because you know the girls, like we've seen the show, yeah. like, there's that element of chaos. Well, this, uh, this, I, because going off of all 20 seasons that I've watched and TiVo'd and watched 30 times over and over, you think you know what you're going to expect, mm -hmm. but... Not even just being in it, like being in this situation, I did not expect people to interact just the way we did. It was it was nothing you could ever plan to the planner. Right. It was it was really cool. Like it was different and trust me, you have no idea what you're expecting. Well what is um you know, obviously without giving away too much, mm -hmm. what what was kind of the craziest thing they made you do? The, the silliest thing, the hardest thing? The craziest thing they made me do was leave my family and give my life to America and the world. <laughs> and not look back because it was the greatest experience of my life. You gave, you gave your life to America and the world. Pretty yeah. much. You're like that little baby in England right now. Like the two of you <laughs> just are just out there for the world to just out enjoy. <laughs> and uh, what's Tyra Banks like? Tyra Banks, like, again, I tried to plan how it was going to be when I met yeah, her. Yeah, you can, obviously. Right. She has this aura around, about, around her, and I'm not just saying that to, like, you know, kiss ass or anything. Right, because the show's Tyra, already over. Right. Tyra Banks, like... She, like, you know, like, you see people on TV and then you meet them, you're just like, oh, they're just a regular person. No. Tyra, like, God probably, like, shined down when she was born because there's, like, aura around her that makes you want to be just great. Like, she has it. She, she has more than it. She gave it to right. us. So imagine who the person's given the it has. Right. Like, she's, I don't know, there's something about her that just inspires me. Are you, are you a better model now? I think so, because I learned from Tyra Banks. Are you kidding me? Right. And then Rob Evans and Kelly Catrone and Brian Boy, those people that were there, like, they're the best in the business. So if you have the best in the business, I think, you know. What is, um, you know, it's funny, like, my frame of reference of modeling is Zoolander, <laughs> you know, which is so ridiculous. What is the hardest thing about modeling? The hardest thing about modeling for me is I'm not your cookie cutter model. I am not the blonde hair, blue eyes. I am not the typical model at all. And it's hard not seeing a lot of brown girls in the industry. Right. But, you know, even Tyra Banks, she was an inspiration for that for me because she wasn't cookie cutter either. And I think the hardest thing is being, like, being, not being in the mainstream, being, uh -huh. you know, paving the way. Yeah. So that's the hardest part for me, but I'm excited because we could do this. Well, and um, we're going to leave with this. Did you win? I don't know. Oh, I thought I was <laughs> uh, I'm hooked. I hope so. Yeah, you sold it. So uh, <laughs> so it's what? It's on every Friday night, right? Yes, every Friday night. The at like eight Fabulous Is that Fierce right? Fridays at 8 yeah. o'clock. Okay, Fabulous Fierce Fridays. And if people want to learn more about you, do you have a website, Twitter? What do they do? I do. My website will be airing very soon. Um, okay. I'm Renee Big Time on, on Twitter and on Instagram. Renee Big Time. My last name was too long to okay. fit in the thing. <laughs> okay. You know, Bagwandine's kind of long. Right. But ReneeBagwandine.com com will be coming out very soon okay you're amazing um, thank, you. thank you so much for coming on thanks for and, having me and we'll see you after the season's over to talk about what it was like to win you never know right, right. <laughs> take care thanks for having yep. me <laughs> coming up we'll tell you why broward college just made a list of one of the top 10 schools in the country it's coming up so keep it here